Hi all, welcome to this Road to Team of Season guide, covering a lot of different aspects for it in terms of like your teams, what to do with them, players um, to sell, SBCs and other kind of aspects as well to kind of keep your back covered for Team of the Season. So we can smash likes, be awesome, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G is a legend, all the links are down below for playlists on the channel and social media links as always. Got a lot to cover here in terms of different aspects. Um, been kind of holding it off till this kind of week. Seemed best to kind of cover it. So hopefully you find this very, very useful. So this is my current team that I am rocking with. This is a full packed um, squad. Obviously the SPC cars I ain't going to sell. Um, Mustafi is untradeable so I can't do anything with him. Um, Begovic, Aspilicueta are um, kind of like day one cards. I ain't going to get rid of them. Um, Koscielny is kind of like always liable for me in the back in Bellerin. I've just never been able to get his 80 version packed so his 79 will do the business for me and really enjoy this card. Now when you look at my subs bench um, a lot of decent players, um, all of them are packed as well. Pretty much the team is just a packed squad I don't generally um, sell any of these players. I don't plan to sell any of them anyway. I think um, these kind of players are still always useful to keep in your club for um, SBCs and so forth and Guy um, Lanzini for example, I'll be selling him pr pretty much by, by the end of the video. Um, he will no longer be in the club and I'll be kind of sad in a sense because I'm losing kind of a historic player in the club. Um, this is my special cards that I currently have in the club. I have no real investments anymore. Um, pretty much at the stage of FIFA where I will not kind of have many investments mainly because the team of the tournament and the Cante and Deli Alley SBCs have kind of inflated the inform so it's just a case of sniping them really but in reality I'm not really keeping them it's just a kind of is what is what we call flip them so they like buy cheap to sell on for profit and um, all these informs and um, Tiago is untradeable and um, who else Jekyll, Sapinara and um, Hunt are kind of like untra well, untradeable as well um, same for Cabral and Thomas, these guys will just kind of stay in the club, not overly fussed about what to do with them. Um, Sergio Roberto will get used in the Barca aspect for the SBC and Hunt could get used for the player month Sun if it happens. Cabral could have the same kind of impact as well. There's definitely players there, all of, them, all of these players will be sold in due course. For a team of season squad however, um, some people have suggested that there might be quite useful players to put together for like squad builders for example and um, for me I would say this is one kind of squad you could look at and um, Courtois you could swap for All Black he would be quite a sound shout and then your chemistry for this particular team would kind of rock out quite nicely and um, the reason why I'm saying like an 86, 87, 8 squad is we don't kind of know what to expect for team of season SBCs if they do them um, I kind of think they might look at high rated options if that is the case. This is a relatively cheap-ish um, squad to put together. The um, reason why we have thrown Ozil, Higuain and Courtois for the 89s is just to kind of, they're the cheapest for their respective ratings. Godin's like the cheapest 88 and then Carvajal's like one of the cheapest 84s and then just kind of worked around it and I've like threw an 87 like in the form of Bonucci because he's doing an informing and because of that, if you want to try and nab him cheap, it's kind of before he goes into packs. But obviously now it's kind of too late, his price might start to go up and you might lose on potential profits. But this is one potential team to keep in mind for an SBC. And in Game Changers, these kind of players have like teams, Team of the Year cards, lots of informs or special cards. So like Ronaldo, Messi, um, for people they won't, if you've got these guys in your club already, you're kind of saying to yourself, I don't really want to go and put a, a lot of money into buying the team of the season card when if I've already got the team of the year. If you're really one of these guys that just wants to have like every card in the club or just like the team of the season cards packed or bought, then you might want to sell up like your Ronaldos, your Iniesta's, your Messi's, Danny Alves. Personally if it was me, I if I had team of the season Danny Alves, uh, team of the Year, sorry, Danny Alves, or um, where is he? Team of the Season, um, the Inform Hazard, the 94 1 or the 95 Ibra Ibrahimovic. I'd be looking to sell these cards mainly because they might not have Team of the um, they'll maybe have Team of the Season cards, and it's kind of a case of selling them up now while you've got some good coins to build with. 
and then for SBCs, I like the league SBCs just now personally are kind of what I'm ploughing through I'm going to sort out videos and streams for these like League of Offs, I have completed um, all of them um, Russian League I've not really started much on yet um, Saudi League is finished, the Pro League I'm just over halfway done um, the 100k pack is kind of the big incentive for that SBC La Liga I'm doing okay, most of the teams are sorted Bundesliga is just Bayern and Dortmund Calcio A is quite healthy, Premier League is not too bad either then Ligu 1 is kind of the same predicament, same for like Turkey and you want to kind of do these SBCs, it's handy to keep the cards, handy to keep the packs and same for the coins, it gives you a good build up um, EFL Championship, the Championship, Scottish Premiership and the J League are all sorted um, all of these need just complete um, submitted but I'm holding off because of the marquee matchups and other aspects and your bronze, silver and gold upgrades are worth doing because um, the gold upgrade, for example, um, you can get the with the two like the two player packs. If you can build them up, you're kind of laughing. You can use like your bronze players that are going to be non-existent and not useful. Build up to the silvers. You, all the silvers that you have, you can put in your silver upgrade. All the silvers that you have, you end up with like piles of gold, and you end up with the gold. It's like rinse and repeat, as we call it, and you'd be kind of covered. And if you've got like a ton of gold up, um, two gold player packs, you might end up with like a team of the season card as a result. Um, also, for other packs, um, just to kind of build you up, it's worth plowing through the basic, the advanced um, SBCs. So, like all these basics, if you've not done them, um, it's worth doing now. Just get them out the road. They'll probably put up more as um, in the running for team of the season because they know people will want packs, and if they can get more players and coins off the market, then it kind of helps. Um, like the European Tour 2 you get a 50k pack um, but there's plenty of packs to work with there's like there's enough 50k packs amongst these um, advanced SBCs that you'd be well and truly covered and 50k packs generally can pay out quite well so for me if you need some healthy coinage and um, sorry healthy packs then this is a possible way to kind of build up your packs um, so keep that in mind with what you want to do now, as you can see, like I have such a vast club that has five thousand three hundred twenty-nine players. Um, oh, there's quite a big abundance are re um loan players, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, don't really use them much, but they're just in the club just to kind of bulk up the club value. But my personal tips are in terms of your club, if you have these actual informed or special cards in your club, just sitting, um, not doing anything, just sell them off now because now is the time. As I said, like guys like Roberto, Jack, well, I'll keep them. I mean, Roberto will get used for the Barca SBC. But guys like Dos, PZ, Lanzini, Mali, Puccini, um, Hernandez, I'll sell them all off. Like just now, I don't have. Um, I'll, as you're watching this video, um, I don't really have them anymore. Guys like Rakitic, PK Alba, they'll get used for the obviously for the Barca SBC. Same for like Barzagli for the Juventus aspect. The players that I'm kind of keeping just now are mainly, all of these are just for SBCs, they're not getting um, for any other reason, because I don't feel the need to kind of keep, that. that's what they're mainly for. The staff however, um, personally, I would kind of sell them all off, like, um, if you can't sell them then discarding them doesn't hurt. I can go through this and through this and through this and honestly I have tons of pages, even if you're getting like 100 coins for a manager or eight to nine or ninety coins, whatever it may be for like a gold discard value, it all starts to build up. And if you've got like tons of pages of staff, and it's roughly about ten or eleven a page um, of golds. So if you've got quite a few pages, it all starts to build up. Um club items, um as well, if you if you've got your kits, your stadiums and your kind of badge all sorted and you're never going to change it. Obviously you get the like the Foot Champions kits or when we've had kits for SBCs or if you had the pre-ordered kits then you might want to keep them. That's perfectly fine because I don't think they go for anything because they're untradeable so you don't, you can't sell them on. But pretty much everything here you'd want to just kind of get rid of and there will be some kits and badges that will have a bit of a value so go digging around, the footballs don't go for anything so don't worry too much about that consumables, you want to get these out your club 
Um, I'm keeping um, the consumables for now, mainly for the SBCs. That's the only reason why I'm keeping them. And once the all the league SBCs are completely sorted, um, all the consumables, I will just kind of like the spare position changes. I'll just sell off the training cards, like the attribute cards. I'm just going to sell all them where I can, and ones that can't be sold, I'll just quick sell because that's not a biggie. Um, but position modifiers. Like the most common ones that are going to be commonly used by me, probably are going to be like the CDM, centre mid, um, cam, centre forward, like secret centre forward is probably going to be a very common one because I think there's quite a few um, positions I've noticed where it goes to if you have it just as a centre forward instead of a striker for those that play cam, it gets you like your nine cam and you've got like enough cam to play with cam styles. I think none of them go for like. Um, 150. I think everyone will at least sell for 200. I've got plenty of hunters that sell for like 5k. I think Shad was like the same. So right away, that's like 30k just from several um, chem styles, which is kind of nuts. The manager leagues don't sell for anything. I think that's like I think I'm sitting on like about six or seven k of manager league value. So right away, that's like an extra seven k just to play with, and it all helps. And it'll take a little while to get rid of, but it's not a big deal. Um, contracts. Personally, the only ones you should be keeping are your rare golds. Everything else, just get rid of. Um, managers not worth keeping. The fitness cards. Um, the only ones I would personally keep are your um, squad fitness of gold, silver, and bronze, and get rid of the rest. Healings. They're going to always keep selling for good fun, um, good money. Um, like for me personally, I'm just going to sell them all off where I can, and maybe keep the specific squad fitness ones but that is a healthy amount as you can see I've got 5,000 players nearly 1,500 rares honestly the players probably the time I get through all the league SBCs I'm going to be pushing like six, six and a half thousand players and I'm just kind of enjoying just bulking up the club in time for team of the season and then obviously wiping it all clean by the time I get through players. My last kind of real suggestions are with the transfer list as a whole, I've got like a lot of stuff still kind of stacked up on the transfer list. A lot of rares, especially, um, mainly because of the team of the tournament SBCs. I've I'd used some of them um, to help complete it, just to kind of get um, that cabral. But my personal recommendation um, is to kind of sell them off now. Um, players initially would maybe go for six fifty, seven hundred. A lot of them will now kind of go for like that eight, um, eight, say eight, nine hundred coins. It's a little bit more profit um, in coins to play with keep in mind and my last kind of aspect to focus on is all these informs selling them on for some really good profit a lot of these cards like last week would have only been worth like this card players like PZ however like PZ, Mali and Lanzini and DOS would have had a bit decent value but to kind of average around 22 to 29k it's pretty impressive and honest and I'm kind of happy with that. So hopefully you found this useful. Let me know in the comments down below what you've been doing to sell off all your stuff. Remember to smash like, sub to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter at Gs Legend and I'll catch you all later.